Today we are going to talk about helmets. No, not this one. This one. So yeah, we are going to talk about the React helmet itself. What it is and why should you really consider to use it in your project. Like every React developer and the digital marketer really loves to do an SEO thing itself. And every developer really works hard to just kind of put his efforts and bring it on to the people itself. Now, what would really happen that if people were unable to find it and they are not able to use your product and services. So that's where the concept called SEO comes into the play. In normal HTML and the CSS page, we really just kind of do an HTML in a really sophisticated manner. We just put uh, meta tags in just a kind of head, uh, head, head tags itself and it just works flawlessly. But how do we really do it in React itself? There is no dip, there is no head tag, there is no native uh, support for it, these kind of things. And the React helmet does addresses exactly this issue itself. The React helmet allows you to just use all native HTML tags and just kind of use all the meta tags, all the link description itself so that you can really uh, do an SEO of your own React app itself. So how it really works, we are just going to do it a practical demo itself. So let's get over to the computer screen. So right now we are on the computer screen. So before really going on to and just kind of making a create React app, I just really want to just kind of uh, show you what actually uh, where you can just see the documentation regarding it. So here this one is the official page. Uh, you can just go on type out the React helmet itself and it will give you uh, the link probably in the google so this is what i choose okay and you can just also visit that github site as well so if you don't really like this uh, view you can try to switch to the github as well so really let's focus so uh, the mobile users i'll just focus it okay so as you can see this is really a popular library out there it has more than 800 thousands uh, downloads every week itself which is really awesome so you need to import this uh, react helmet itself in just uh, this manner itself and it supports uh, and it really works and the format should be this like this the helmet should also be within the div tag of the uh, react uh, react component and just like uh, what i said it just supports all the uh, title base meta link script no uh, no script and style tag itself it also has the support for the body uh, html and title tag itself so i'll just kind of really demonstrate how uh, actually it really works as well so we, we will get a fairly decent idea regarding it so we will just go back into the, our own desktop we will open the git bash and we will just make a create react sorry create react app react i will give it my app name of react helmet okay so i think it will take some time i will really get i will really fast forward this process so you won't really need to wait for me okay guys the create react app has been now successfully built let's try to get into the project Now let's open my uh, the code reader. I'm using the VS code. Uh, if you can remove, you can use anything that you want, like Atom, Sublime, or even JetBrains. What do you really like? What? Which one is your favorite? Okay, so we are right now in the VS code. So let's open this app browser because this is what we really require for our project and let's try to open the inbuilt terminal for this project let's try to start this one it's gonna take some time i think okay so here is our own create react app itself now what we will just try to do is like open this public folder and just try to go to this html 
and what we will do is like we will remove all this uh, meta tag itself so uh, to really give in a brief idea about what we are going to do itself so let's try out to first of all i think uh, let's go to the app.js and let's remove all this header class so as you know it will go blank let's in the control and inspect it so first of all let me improve uh, size okay so, yeah about 175 that's perfect so when you go to the head tag itself you really find there are a bunch of uh, majority of really other tag itself so what we will really do is like just to uh, kind of go to that html again and we will just try to remove all uh, everything that is really unnecessary for us we'll also remove this title we'll also remove this one okay and this one probably yeah and now what we will really do is like okay we don't really need this one even and also this probably this uh, class name is probably of not any use okay so now let's try to install the react helmet itself i'm going into the second one so turbo excel let's try to install on pmi react helmet so let's try to really zoom this one Let's try to close this one first. Okay, now it's much bit clean. Okay, so let's try to import the React helmet from. Helmet from yeah this one and now let's try to just import the helmet itself okay so let's try to indent this one okay so now what of all so first of all let's go back to this computer screen let's try to inspect this here so let's go back to this head so as you can see uh, there is nothing in this head except to this div tag so except to this style tag which is the default for uh, every other uh, site that you open so let's come back to this here and let's try to just kind of fill this here so first of all we really uh, specify the meta cat set to the utf8 itself so that the browser will really know what uh, characters what the type of the characters are the car set so is equal to utf dash eight. Okay, so and let's uh, while closing it, just put the forward slash as you are really working with the React. So this is really much more important. And now let's try to uh, import the title tag itself. Like files, okay. So let's try to give it a tag title of so React Helmet SEO. So let's go on to and try search this one. So as you can see, that this is the one. So let's let me close this other one. So, so yeah, you can see that. The tag has been changed now if, if i go to the here and let's try out this seo one and as you can see the 
the title is really reflected up right here and let's try to add the description itself meta name name equals description content is equal to this is um, react helmet tutorial sorry oh so okay 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 i just forgot to really put the backslash and closing tag sorry I think it should work yeah so as you can see it this line here the like the text so disk you can see the description meta name is equal to description content is equal to this is a react helmet tutorial itself now let's try to add some of the really like a uh, viewport meta tag itself right let's go back to here again so let's Okay, try and add to a meta tag itself and the name is equal to view viewport itself right and the content content itself is equal to like width equals to device width so we give it a comma and just type out initial initial scale equals to one so and where here we will just kind of in forward slash and end it with the closing tag itself so right now we will come back right here and as you can see the this one is added with the name is equal to viewport content is equal to width device width and initial scale is equal to one itself so if you really want to just use the native html style tag itself so let's give it a style let's write the style Dy. let's close it so by the way i'm using the auto uh, complete tag itself that's why it's really completing the end result so you don't have to waste time and just start up really writing that so let's focus on what we really need to do so like let's go back to here so there are few uh, really moments like you really need to use a curly braces between the style tag the head tag and the body tag in the react element itself uh right so like this one and then intend this one itself and then just go on so i will just specify the body tag i really want to change the background color of body and then background background color is equal to red yeah so you can really see as the color has been really changed of the background itself and you can really just go on and also see this into the really like this one itself so so as you can see in the body tag itself the color has been changed to red if you just untick this one you can see the effect has been gone and if you want to change this to red let's suppose brown 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 Okay, so as you can see the color has been changed so and also if you really want to add some of the favicon icon itself so let's try to do it so what we really try right now try to do is just try and kind of go and try to change this favic fav icon itself and uh, so that we really get to know about what it could really do and much more regarding itself so coming back to here in our relax uh, source folder itself I have downloaded the mail icon 
or as a fav icon itself from internet and let's try to import this one into here okay so it has been added into the source folder itself now let's try to bring this up into uh, into here import so import uh, fav f a v i c o n from sorry like a uh, mail or start mail so, mail fav icon dot my c o okay so what we'll right now we'll try to do is just kind of uh, use the link rel tag so like link rel is equal to shortcut icon if i'm not wrong and href is equal to really just kind of a fair icon and just really end it with a forward slash and closing bracket itself so as you can see right now it has been changed earlier was really different i will just kind of go and really really just comment it out sorry i'll just close cut this so as you can see it has been changed right now a little bit and so yeah and really this if we uh, really just make it back again so it has been changed a little bit so so if you really want to use a native script uh, html tag itself so what we have really just uh, really said that we will really discuss about it so really just try to use the script targets right so and you just kind of go it so as you really see that there is nothing right here and there is nothing you just ignore the above part that's it's the react stuff usual react stuff itself and we really just go on and type out the console dot log sorry console dot log in bracket we'll just put oh uh, sorry just put a uh, hello react helmet okay it's really great okay so as you can see that it has been really commented right now so this was it really guys i there are really a bunch of various uses uh i'm not an seo expert by any way any means or any other way but this is i really want to just kind of show that how how you can do an seo with it uh, and how can you just kind of really use it so one of the key main uh, application is that so if if any individual component requires a different uh like different favicon itself different uh really say description or different viewport or different uh, kind of meta property itself so you can really easily type of address itself you just need to import this line itself and it really works flawlessly itself so this was it guys all of for today itself so if you have any question queries comments or any suggestion just leave it down in the comment section below make sure to follow me on instagram facebook because there are really post some of the stories or insights which may be really uh, helpful for you guys and so till then stay subscribed to my channel stay connected and have a nice day